from now on whenever we use the term cylinder it is understood that it's going to be right circular cylinder so this topic is going to deal with the surface area again but of a hollow cylinder but it's not a solid right circular cylinder anymore it's a hollow right circular cylinder now why do we have to do hollow right circular cylinder or hollow cylinder because in our everyday activities or in day to day activities we do come across objects like pipe you know the water pipes which are hollow so the surface area of the hollow pipes would be not the same as the solid cylinder because it has got two surfaces one is the outer one is the inner so now if you consider this diagram this is approximate representation of a hollow cylinder now here we've got the bigger circular base whose radius is the capital r and then we've got the smaller circular base also the inner part of the hollow cylinder whose radius is smaller now let us work out the surface area of a hollow cylinder so first of all let us work out each base surface area which will be pi r square but then here we don't have to find the entire surface area of the circular base we just have to find out the shaded portion here because otherwise it is hollow so we need the area of the bigger circular base and then we need the area of the smaller circular base and then we need to subtract them both so it will be like this pi r square minus pi small r square square units which is nothing but taking out pi as common we have pi into r square minus r square square units this is the surface area of one base so the two bases will be two into this one so now the next point we have to calculate is the curved surface area or the lateral surface area in this case it is a curved surface area we've already discussed this so this will be now this is not a solid cylinder this is a hollow cylinder so it's going to have an external surface area as well as an internal surface area so it will be curved surface area will be the sum of external surface area plus internal surface area now the external surface area will be 2 pi capital r into the height the height is going to be the same for the external as well as the internal only the radius is going to change because the external surface area is going to have a bigger radius and then the internal surface area is going to have a smaller radius so 2 pi r h plus 2 pi small r h again taking out 2 pi h as common we have 2 pi h into capital r plus small r square units so this is the total curved surface area of the hollow cylinder now what is the total surface area of a hollow cylinder that will be the sum of both the base surface areas and then the curved surface area which is nothing but 2 pi h into capital r plus small r plus 2 pi into r square minus r square square units but then we can further simplify this by writing 2 pi h into r plus r plus 2 pi into r square minus r square capital r square minus small r square can be also seen as a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b so this will be r plus r into r minus r square units now again considering this term and then this term we can take out 2 pi into r plus r as common so 2 pi into r plus r as common and then all we've left out is h from this term plus r minus r from this term so the total surface area of a hollow cylinder is 2 pi into capital r plus small r into h plus capital r minus small r square units so this ends the topic of surface area of a hollow cylinder.